For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says if f of 1 is 300 uh, newtons and theta is 10 degrees, determine the magnitude and direction, measure counterclockwise from the positive uh, x prime axis, so it's from this axis measured counterclockwise uh, of the resultant force acting on the bracket. All you gotta do is break down the forces. Uh, let's break down F1, which is given to us. F1 is equal to 300 cosine of 20 degrees because if this is 10 degrees and this is 60 degrees, this whole thing is 70 degrees, which means this is 20 degrees. And you know that F of 1 is 300 newton subs given to us so f of 1 is equal to 300 cosine of 20 degrees i plus 300 sine of 20 degrees j when you calculate this you're gonna get that this is equal to 281.9 i plus 102.6 j f of 2 i mean f2 is just 200 on the j direction 200 newtons on the positive j going up f of 3 is equal to negative 180 times 12 over 13 i plus 180 times 5 over 13 j and when you calculate this you get this negative 166.15 i plus 69.23j now all you got to do is add the x's together add the y's together to find the resultant force and when you add them up you're going to get that is equal to 115.75i plus 371.83j now what you need to find is the polar form to find the polar form to find the magnitude you're gonna do the square root of the x component plus the y component this is the x this is the y and when you when you calculate this you're gonna get that it is 389.42 now what you gotta do is you gotta find the angle to find the angle between the, I'm sorry, let's call it phi. To find the angle between the x and the force, let me see, the force is 115 and 371, it's going to be somewhere right here. Let's just say, right? That's the resultant force. It's always good to draw it. To find this angle, which is not the angle that we're looking for, but to find this angle, you're going to do the tangent inverse of the y component over the x component and that is going to give you 72.7 degrees but you know that this angle is 20 degrees i'm sorry you know that this angle is 30 degrees the angle you're supposed to find it in between the x prime line so all you gotta do is subtract the 30 degrees to find theta equals to 42 Point seven degrees and the magnitude is right here final answer